In this video, we will talk about the gas make problems. For example, in this figure, it shows the intake air has 35 cubic meter per second of air coming in, and uh, in this air, it has 0.09% of CO2. And at the return, the CO2 concentration becomes 1.2%. Apparently, from 0.09% to 1.2%, or well, there is some extra CO2 emitting in this section of the airway. So CO2 emitting here. So, but how much CO2 is emitted? By understanding the gas make um, problem, we can solve this uh, question. So the gas make is the rate at which gas is being produced in an area of the mine. So in this example, we use G to represent the rate of emission for CO2. Let's talk about some of the basic things that we need to know before we go into the gas make. When we are doing the gas calculation, we most of the time we use gas concentration they can be in percent, say 1.2% of CO2. So this is in percent. Sometimes if the concentration is low, then we use um, part per million. One part per million is one part of certain gas in one million part of total gas. This is by volume. Equals to by mole. But it's not equals to by mass, okay? So by default, if we say 30 ppm, if we don't say if it's by volume, by mole, or by mass, then by default, it's by volume. The second one is volumetric flow rate, cubic meter per second equals to 1,000 liter per second, and uh, the gas flow rate equals to the volumetric flow rate of the gas mixture by the concentration of certain gas. For example, 35 cubic meter per second of air leaves the section of a mine with gas concentration of 1.2% CO2 and 9 ppm CO. What is the flow rate of gas from the section? The flow rate of CO2 equals to 35, that's the total flow rate of air, by the concentration of CO2, so 1.2%. So that equals to 0.42 cubic meter per second. So the CO2 flow rate is 0.42 cubic meter per second. For carbon monoxide, uh, again, 35 by 9 ppm. 9 ppm equals to 9 divided by 1 million. So that equals to 0.000315 cubic meter per second. Sometimes we use mass flow rate in the unit of um, kilogram per second or gram per second. The mass flow rate equals to volumetric flow rate of that gas by the density of that gas. For example, the density of a gas A is 0.9 kilogram per cubic meter and is at a concentration of 3% in an air flow rate of 40 cubic meter per second. Calculate the flow rate of gas A. So the, volume, um, the volumetric flow rate of gas A equals to well, the total flow rate of the gas mixture by the concentration of gas A that equals to 1.2 cubic meter per second. This is the volumetric flow rate. To convert volumetric flow rate to mass flow rate, equals to volumetric flow rate of 1.2 cubic meter per second by the density of gas A, that's 0.9 kilogram per cubic meter. So that equals to 1.08 kilogram per second. Okay, now let's look at the gas make problem. Uh, basically, in a gas make problem, you have the total volumetric flow rate at the inlet you have the concentration of certain gas at the inlet, and you have the gas make. So that's the rate of um, emission of that um, certain gas. And then you have the total flow rate at, um, at the return, that's Q out, and also the concentration of that gas uh, in the return air. So the following relationship holds. The flow rate in the intake 
by the concentration of that gas in the intake plus the emission rate that the gas make in this section of the mine equals to the total flow rate in the return by the resulting concentration of that gas in the return. All of them are in standard units. And depending if it's gas or for dust, uh, if it's gas, the Q out, that's the flow rate in the return, equals to Q in plus the gas make. So that's the flow rate in, um, the total flow rate in the intake plus the gas make. If it's dust, Q in equals to Q out because the uh, volumetric flow rate in the airway doesn't change. Uh, it doesn't matter how much dust you are emitting. Okay, if, if we plug in this um, Q out to this equation, we have this um, equation. Q in, C in plus G equals to Q in plus G and together by C out. So this is for gas, for, for dust, Q in, C in plus G equals to Q in, C, C out. Okay, let's go back and look at the um, example that I showed you at the beginning of the video. 35 cubic meter per second of air enters the section of a mine with gas concentration of CO2 equals 0.09%. The gas make is what we are trying to find and the C out is 1.2%. Uh, okay, apparently in this question, Q in is 35 cubic meter per second, C in is 0.09%. So with that um, gas make equation, Q in, C in plus G equals to Q in plus G C out. So Q in is uh, 35 by 0.09% plus G equals to Q in 35 plus G by C out, that's 1.2%. We can solve G equals to 393.2 liter per second. So the emission rate of um, uh, CO2 is 393.2 liter per second. Let's look at um, uh, another question. A section of a mine produces 300 liter per second of methane. So uh, G equals to 300 liter per second. How much air is required to dilute methane to 1.25% if it enters the panel at 0.1%? Okay, so uh, C in is 0.1% because it's coming into the panel as 0.1%. Now with the same equation, we have Q in C in plus G equals to Q in plus G altogether by C out. So Q in, we don't know. So Q in, put it there. C in is 0.1% plus G plus G, G is 300 liter per second, but we, we will need to use uh, the standard unit. So that's 0.3 cubic meter per second, equals to Q in plus G. Q in plus 0.3 altogether by C out. So C out is C out is 1.25%. Uh, okay, we can solve Q in that equals to 25.8 cubic meter per second. So this means you have to provide at least about 26 cubic meter per second of air in order to dilute this section of the mine so the methane concentration is below 1.25%.
Okay. After talking about the gas make problems, sometimes we may need to calculate what if、uh, two streams of air come to one stream of air, and we need to know the concentration in the combined、uh, stream. So、uh, in this example, you have one stream of air coming in there,、uh, one stream of air coming on the right, and they combine to the middle that coming out. The relationship. In this scenario, is the sum of the flow rate that comes in and out of this、uh, junction equals to zero. For example, if 35 cubic meter per second of、uh, air with one percent, so 35 cubic meter per second air with one percent CO2 mixes with 10 meter per second, 10 meter per second of air with 0.2 percent. Of CO2, what is the concentration in the mixture? There are two steps in this、um, problem. We can use number one. We use Kirchhoff's first law for air. Kirchhoff's first law says the sum of the air comes in this、uh, junction equals to zero. So air comes in、uh, is positive. Air come out is negative. So 35 plus 10 minus Q1 equals to zero, so Q1 equals to 45 cubic meter per second. The second step is、um, use Kirchhoff's first law for the gas. So、uh, the same,、uh, 35 by one percent plus 10 by 0.2 percent minus Q1 45 by C1 equals to zero, so we can solve C1 that equals to 0.822 percent. Okay, so in this video we have talked about how to solve a gas make problem that you can calculate how much air you need to dilute a section of a mine, so the concentration of that gas is below the limit. Or we can calculate two streams of、uh, air come together, and what's the resulting concentration of a certain gas? Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.